Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome. No, don't you talk, man. This is my time. Come on, I've been looking at you for a long time. Now you're going to talk, or you I'm going to go move to the corner now. Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition Part 200. 200. Zero, zero. So exciting that I'm even going to put an exclamation point after the 200 in the thumbnail. Oh, man. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't even know where to start. It's, oh boy, I, I've got so many plans for this Let's Play after this moment. Like, I think we have, a lot of people ask me, how many episodes do you think there are left, etc., etc. And I think maybe uh, up to 50. I think, like, we won't reach 250. I think it'll be somewhere less than that. Um, I know where it's going to end, though. I have a very clear ending for Adronach. And I'm really excited. And, and obviously, we've done so much already. And um, it, it's just been wonderful. First off, thank you all for being with me up to this point. Uh, I get comments every day about people just catching up with the series or just starting it or how much they like it. And it's just... As it's been a wonderful experience from start to finish. So thank you guys for being a part of it. I know you guys don't like it when I give very long intros, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Welcome to part 200, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we've got a webcam. You can see my face. I'm sure for some of you at least, this is the first time you're ever seeing me. So hello, my name is Austin Grovana, GV, Vana, whatever you want to call me. Um, and yeah, I've been on YouTube for like four years, and uh, it's been a blast from start to finish. Um, I, yeah, it, it, it's... Whew, I'm just really excited. This is this is such a cool thing. So anyways, yeah, we're going to be doing an extended episode, an hour long. Um, we're also going to have web uh, face cam, webcam, face cam, whatever. Uh, you can see me and all my reactions, and I can I can turn a corner and see a drug go, Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh boy, that scared me. I'm definitely not just overreacting for uh, to, to grab the attention of the demographic of the young kids. Um, no, but you guys can see my reactions, and, uh, yeah. We're also gonna be doing something completely different for this episode. We are going to be building a house for Adronach. Yes, uh, for those of you that are unaware, there is a DLC in Skyrim called Hearthfire. And in that DLC, you can choose from one of three houses, um, and then... Or wait, can you have them all? You might even be able to have them all, I'm not sure, but we're only gonna be focused on one. Um, and that is the Falkreath house. It has always been my favorite house. And to get started here, you have to talk to the Jarl. Uh, we sided with the Imperials, so the same Jarl is here. Yeah. If you sided with the Stormcloaks, I believe this Jarl gets replaced. And here's the thing. I actually ran into a bug with this. If we go up here, as we've seen before in the Let's Play, we have the dead body of Helvard, which I forget how we killed him, but I do know that it's from the Dark Brotherhood uh, quest line. We killed Helvard because of the Dark Brotherhood quest line. And if he is dead, it sets Jarl Sidigir to have a negative two, I believe, disposition, or two or something. And it goes up to four, uh, with four being that they'll want to marry you if they're an applicable uh, mate. So, basically, um, I was not able to get the Falkreath house, which I really wanted, and I was like, oh no, are we going to have to, um, you know, get one of the other two houses that I don't want? But no, because I used the console, I set his affinity to me to four, the maximum, and now he lets me do it. Uh, basically, to get to this point, you just have to do some random side quests, some random radiant quests, uh, and then he should give you a letter, which he did give us, but after I returned to him... Uh, from killing Helvard, he won't give me the house. But I, I fixed that in the console. So here we are. Let's make a house for Adronach, shall we? The Stormcloaks want freedom, but don't understand its price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your letter. I'm Adronach. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. It will be done. Good. All right, and that's basically what you need. Execute you need to do a, uh, a little miscellaneous quest here to kill the leader of Ember Shard. I think I just said that you had to do that to get up to this point, but... And I think that's true. You have to do the, the random quest to uh, help the people of that particular region, which we've already done, I believe, in hopes of becoming Jarl. So, we are now going to kill the leader of Ember Shard Mine. 
We know where Ember Shard Mine is, or at least you should if you play this game a decent amount of time, since it's one of the first dungeons you come into contact with. So we'll just rush in, we'll kill him super quickly, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, you may have also noticed that we've leveled up. I did a bit of grinding off camera to get ready for this episode. First of all, I got a lot of materials. All through grinding. I did not use the console for anything. I promise you have my solemn word. I have not used the console for anything in this let's play thus far other than if I'm stuck in a rock and I have to phase out or something like fixing the Jarl's affinity. So let's go ahead and level up. Uh, I have leveled up, obviously. We're going to put this point into health. I think uh, maybe we'll switch over to Magicka once we reach 500 health, but I would like to have 500 health. Uh, how many perks do we have? We have two and obviously... I've raised enchanting. I've been doing some smithing and enchanting off camera, so that's why enchanting is 89 and smithing is 36. Smithing takes forever now. Uh, so I raised enchanter to uh, 5 out of 5. New enchantments are 100% stronger, and obviously I'm still saving one for uh, extra effect. So we have two perks, but we only have one that we should use. So let's go to one-handed and see if we have anything here. We have 5 out of 5 for this. Wonderful. Uh, power attacks, one hand weapons cost 25% less stamina. Where is the one? War axes, no. Maces, no. Swords have a 10% chance of doing critical damage. Uh, let's go ahead and activate that one. I think eventually, eventually we will reset the one handed perks once we actually get 100 one handed. So, we don't need Ignite for this, and we're going to do this as fast as possible, because this is not the main point of this episode. Yeah, this being a super low-level um, dungeon, these guys are going to fall like... We're going to cut through them like a knife through butter, basically. And, in fact, I'm just going to make a beeline for the uh, boss character. I've, I've already ran through this part of, of the Hearthfire DLC just to make sure everything was going to work out for this episode. So, yes, I know for a fact that all we need to do is come over here, activate the lever. There's going to be some people behind us, but that's okay. Can we jump over to that bridge from here? You know what? If we dream it, we can do it. And we've dreamt it, so we've done it. Okay. Let's move through here. It's so weird. I think this is the first... Gosh, in all the Let's Plays I've done, I think I've only done a face cam for episode 50? Or was it 100 of the Oblivion series? where I had my friend Ryan, who was also a huge Elder Scrolls fan, which, by the way, Ryan, if you ever see this, going to his wedding, man, how time flies and how people change. It, it's crazy. Um, let me get over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. You call yourself the leader. Wow. Get destroyed. Get wrecked, son. How many cringy phrases can I crank out? Um, anyways, yes, I think for episode either 50 or 100, I can't remember, of the Oblivion series, it was so long ago, uh, I had my friend Ryan, uh, there, as well as a face cam, because he was a huge fan of the Elder Scrolls 2, and, uh, yes, I'm going to his wedding in July, so, shout out to Ryan, I hope you're doing well, I don't think you'll see this, though, alright, so, anyways, we have done it, let's head back to Fall Creep now, that's basically what you need to do to get this whole thing started. And like I said, if you're having trouble getting the Jarl or whoever to give you the house to allow you to buy the plot of land, um, you can use the console if you're on PC, which we are. If you're not on PC, you're going to have a tough time. I That's one of the main reasons I don't play on consoles anymore. Is because stuff like this, bugs like this, there's no way to get around it. Unless you hack your console, I guess. But no one wants to do that. No one. No one wants to do that. All right, hello, Jarl. Yes, what is it that you want? I've killed the leader of Ember Shard. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. I am interested, and in fact, I'm not that... Uh, interested if you need anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and build and my house now. Alright, thank you very much. So we need to talk to his steward, and I know exactly who his steward is because I've tried to do this a million billion times with this bug. It is Nenya. I'm a steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. I'd like to purchase a house. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. I'll take it. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, 
then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. May wisdom forever light your path. Thank you. Hey, you're kind of kind of cute. Ah, I don't like the hair though. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our new digs. Uh, we have purchased a plot of land, which is different from most of the things that you can buy in Skyrim in terms of uh, real estate. Obviously, there's Lakeview Manor. That's where we want to go. We're going to go ahead and place the marker there and travel to Pine Watch. Uh, I like this house the best. And to be quite honest, I don't remember exactly what I think it's the Dawnstar and the Morthal houses look like. But I do remember extensively checking them out the first time I installed Hearthstone. Uh, the first time Hearthstone... Uh, Hearthfire! Gosh darn, I'm going to do that at least 100 times in this episode alone. Um... I remember extensively checking out the three different plots of land, and I've always liked this one the best. And as you can see, it's called Lakeview Manor, as we activate it. And that's because, well, ironically enough, and it's not ironic whatsoever, we have a view of the lake. And also a standing stone right in front of us, which is the Guardian. Wait. Oh, wait. I thought that was... Oh! For some reason, for the longest time, I thought that was a standing stone location. But no, it's just like a necromancer's altar. A necromancer's altar. Yes. Um, and we've killed him uh, recently, actually, because I checked out this location to see if we could get any materials. So here we have it. Visit your new property in Falkreath Hold. We've done it. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of stuff over here. Let's check it out. We have a drafting table. Buy lumber for building your house. Use the drafting table to begin building your house. So we have a small house layout. And I don't think it requires anything because this is just the layout. So let's go ahead and create it. Wonderful. Use the carpenter's workbench to build the foundation of your house. So now we have this little tiny... Uh, all these stakes around uh, basically showing the layout of our house. Uh, I know for a fact we want to go into the chest and take everything. We have 30 clay... Corundum in, uh, ingot, six iron ingots, and 30 quarried stone. We're going to take it all. And we're going to use the workbench here. We have the beginner's guide to homesteading as well and an anvil. What does the anvil let us do? Yeah, I thought it was just regular crafting stuff. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to the carpenter's workbench now and take a look at the house. We have foundation, which requires sawn, sawn log and quarried stone. We also have wall framing, which requires nails. Aha, yes. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and craft this. And now we need 10 nails. So if we go to the anvil here, we should be able to craft some nails using iron. We do have iron ingots, building materials. There we go. Okay, let's craft 10 nails. Now that should be good for the rest of this. House wall framing, boom. And now we need the walls which needs eight more nails so let's head back to the anvil building materials nails we have five ingots but don't worry i've stockpiled all the in uh, iron that we need but we need tons of other stuff as well so let's go ahead and build these or craft these i should say go back to the carpenter's workbench make the walls i should probably turn around so that we can see the progression of this it's happening uh happening instantly which i guess we can just attribute to some sort of magic why not right uh this is our house it's great we don't need a ceiling we can just sit here and that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching this episode uh it's just again it's been a ma no just kidding <laughs> i wouldn't do that to you guys oh my god imagine the hate imagine the hate oh oh <laughs> okay all right, uh, yes, we have some floor here that we can create with some quarried stone. We have some roof framing, wonderful. And now we need the roof. Oh man, my pit, there's a pit in the stomach right now. There's a pit in my stomach. I'm a little nervous. Sorry guys, I've done face cam stuff before, obviously. I see you guys every Saturday, but I'm a little nervous. This is weird. I have to be very cautious of doing certain things like accidentally uh, getting in a nose pick or something and sometimes I do record naked so I'm glad that I remember to wear a shirt which you can get by the way gotta pit my own stuff you can get this shirt right here this exact shirt uh, it's in the links in the description also at the end of the video if you want to check that out anyways we need 20 nails now it would seem let's head once again back to the anvil uh, building materials and 10 nails and 20 nails Okay, back to this, and we've got our roof. Now we need a door which needs iron fittings, a lock, 
and two hinges. This is the point where we might have to go back and grab ourselves some more iron. But, as you can see, our house is coming along, obviously. Uh, let's go to the, to the uh, anvil. So we need one hinge. No, we need two hinges, right? We need two hinges, iron fittings, and a lock. But we are out of iron. So, it is time. This needs to... Okay, first of all, let's remove this. This needs to increase our smithing, right? I do know that it does actually increase some skills. I forget what. Smithing would make the most sense, right? There's no carpentry skill. That would be cool, though. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be cool if they added that with Hearthfire? A new skill, carpentry. Um, and basically, it's kind of like smithing. Not sure exactly what. Okay, hold on. So every time I travel to Riverwood... There's always a drag. Is there a drag? Aha, okay. Let me go ahead and bend his will because if I don't do that and we go into the sleeping giant inn, Hadvar will travel, will, will, will run into my secret room and then take the Staff of Magnus. He loves the Staff of Magnus for some reason. I have no idea why. So we have to make sure that we don't enter the Riverwood uh, sleeping giant inn. While a dragon is aggro. Okay, I've stored all my materials in this chest. Again, I assure you, I got all of these myself. It took a while, about an hour of grinding to get all the iron ingots. Basically just went to War Maidens in uh, Whiterun. And just bought them from uh, the girl and then the guy. And then uh, I also went to Bellathors and got some of the stuff like the straw and the goat horns and the glass. So, I don't think we actually need any firewood. But you know what? I'll take it anyways. Yeah, let's take all of that and the glass and the goat horns, which are going to be used for the sconces. I've n I was never aware of how to actually pronounce those. Scones, sconces, sconces, you know what I mean. The, the, the things on the side of the wall that, that you put candles in or whatever. Uh, we're going to take 310 iron ingots. We're not going to be able to, are we, though? No. Uh, and we'll take the straw. So, we need to get rid of some stuff. Let's go to miscellaneous again. And as far as iron ingots go... Let's store. Hopefully this goes kind of fast. Each one of these weighs one pound or what have you. Um, so we're about 200 over. So let's store. Uh, let's store about 250 just to be safe. Boom. We've got 60 left over. No, we've got 60 in our inventory right now, but that's okay. As we start clearing out the iron ingots, uh, as we start clearing out the stuff that we're building with the iron ingots, obviously, we'll have more space. And so we can come back and take them. All right, Hadvar, you chill the heck out, dude. I'm going to come back out here and the ancient dragon is probably going to be back to aggroed. Or maybe not. Okay, now is our chance to leave. So back to Falkreath. Here's Lakeview Manor. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this DLC is that... All of the three different houses have different names and different um, specific wings that you can build. You'll see what I mean as we get closer and closer to finishing our house. But, for now, let's see. Let's refresh our memory as to what we need. We need one lock and one iron fitting, which is going to be extremely easy. Building materials. One lock. This is increasing our smithing. Yeah, look down there on the bottom right. Yeah, cool. Okay, great. And then one iron fitting. And we're actually going to get a smithing increase right there. Very cool. Okay. Now this is going to make our door. Boom. And there we go. So, this is a completed cabin, uh, cabin with, with nothing else. And we can actually enter now, as you can see. It's its own location. So, this is our place. Our current place. We have a chest that's empty. We have another workbench here, which I think we can use to interior decorate. Um... I have completed a house before. I think total costs around 30,000 gold. Obviously, we have around 110,000, so we are good for that. Uh, let's head back to this, and we can build some extras now. So, we have an animal pen, an apiary, an armor, workbench, garden, stable. Uh, let's just try to build all of them, I think. Although, hold on. We are going to build everything. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get everything in this episode. I would like to, but it takes a lot of work, obviously. Uh, now we can build a main hall. So we can start adding extensions. So here's the thing. I don't know if we should build the extras first or the main house first. You know what? Let's go for the main house, right? That makes sense. In fact, this needs nothing. Uh, it says requires nothing. So we're going to go ahead and build this. We can remove the workbench. 
which I guess is just after you're done, you can remove the workbench so you don't have a weird just random workbench in your house. Uh, so let's go back to the drafting table and see if there's anything left. Oh, we can remove the workbench. That's it. So maybe we have to uh, have to upgrade before we move on. So let's try that. Wait a second. Okay, we have a main hall door. So this is where we can start. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go along the main path before we start doing the bonuses. Like I said, we will get everything eventually. Adronach is going to have a fully upgraded house. And you know what? We're only 20 minutes into this episode. We've got 40 minutes left. So maybe we could get mostly everything done. We'll see. Uh, we're definitely not going to be able to furnish it, I don't think. But, anyways, uh, we need one lock and one iron fitting. One. Wow, I need corundum? Okay. Well, if that's the case, we'll have to write down, like, a list of what we need. So, if that's going to be the case, uh, let's go back to miscellaneous. We'll build the animal pen, and we'll check these out as we build them. So, let's take a look at the animal pen. Uh, there's the main hall. Um... I'm not sure what you would call it, the, the plans or the, the somewhat of a blueprint. So there's the animal pen. Uh, not much. Comes with a tanning rack, it looks like. Interesting. Kind of macabre if you think about it. Whatever animals are going to be in that pen are just going to be used to make some leather, it would seem. All right, let's go back into the carpenter's workbench. Uh, now we're going to build an apiary, which I believe is just a birdhouse. Or is it a bee house? I think it's a birdhouse. Okay, we're going to build that. Let's take a look at it. Where did it go? I think the apiary, by the way, is unique to this house. I don't think you can uh, you can build that anywhere else. So there it is. All the way back here. And we can search it. Oh, it is a bee thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, and we can get some bees and we can get some honeycombs out of it. Okay, for some, yeah, apiary, aviary relates to birds. Apiary, I guess, relates to bees. So yeah, we can use the tanning rack now. I don't think we can interact with the hay whatsoever. So, all of these have little uses here and there. I don't usually use them too often. You guys know me. I'm not too much into the crafting area of games. Um, but, obviously, yeah, these all have their little uses. So, now we are at a standstill here. We need some sawn logs, uh, iron fittings, and a lock. Which, first of all, let's try this out. If we go over here, there's a stone quarry. So, we can use our ancient Nordic pickaxe, Horfrost, a unique one, to mine some stone. Um, so the materials that we need, outside of the, the vanilla materials, like corundum, like iron, like steel, things like that, uh, are stone, which I believe were added with hearth fire, uh, clay, um, sawn logs, and I feel like there's one more. So we're gonna sit here for a second. Now I'm just basically laying everything out. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole entire process. I don't think you guys would really want to see that. That would be incredibly boring. But, um, yeah, I will at least show you the basics of Hearth Fire and uh, what I'm going to be doing somewhat off-camera because I don't think we'll be able to fit everything in this episode. Uh, I think I'll only do the grinding off-camera, though. I, I think I will show you guys anytime I actually upgrade the house. Yeah, of course I will. Okay, so that is where we can get some stone. Um, and I'm not sure if that ever runs out. It could. I don't really know. As for sawn logs, I think... Yeah, okay, so you can see here we have a bunch of logs. And I forget exactly how this works. Can we interact with these whatsoever? Uh, we could go to River One, uh, River Woods. Uh, yeah, River Wood. And um, saw some logs, but I, I forget if that's how you do it because I think you can do that in vanilla as well. Uh, it's, all, it's all very, very hazy as to how we get all of the materials. But I know you can buy them from your steward. Um, and you can get some of them yourself. So there's clay. Okay, I was looking for some clay. So you can mine clay as well. Uh, so yeah, so that takes care of clay, stone. We don't know how to get sawn logs just yet. I did do a little bit of research and it said that they were in a pile near your place and that looked like they were over there. But they're invisible in your inventory and once you use all of them, they're gone. Oh, so that may be it. That may be it, because there was another pile close to here, and I was like, where did it go? So we may have used all of the sawn logs. Okay, we're, we're carrying too much to be able to run now. Uh, let's go ahead and drop some... Let's see, what do we have? Let's drop some clay. Um, we need to drop four pieces of clay. But we'll drop ten just so we have some, some space. Okay, so we have some stone quarry, we have some, um, we have some stone, we have some clay. Let's see if we can build anything else. 
Okay, so for the main hall door, we need iron fittings, which we can create. Uh, we need sawn logs is what we need uh, that we don't have. And as for this, we need sawn logs, sawn logs, sawn logs. Looks like that's it. It's just logs. So, I think, I think what's coming next is I just need to figure out where to get some sawn logs. That's it. And then we can go ahead and move on here. I want to just check one more time before... I move on to something else. I feel like this was this was it. We do have a woodcutter's axe in our inventory. Is this not it? I know we can create firewood, but that's not what we want. Okay. So, I happen to know that you can buy certain things from uh, your steward, your house steward. And I forget if that's a unique person or if that is the person that we bought the land from. Which would be Nenya, which would be in the Jarl's log house. Long house. So... Before I go on on my own and figure out the best way to get some sawn logs, we're going to go back right over here to check if Nenya will sell us some things, first and foremost. I feel like the person was close to the house before, um, and this person obviously is not. So, maybe we have to wait a little bit, or maybe we have to upgrade our house. Can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to okay, she has nothing to offer. So, I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to get uh, some sawn logs, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you guys in a sec. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this this freaking dragon is still here. Oh my gosh. It, it, it's only Riverwood that this is an issue. You can travel to any other place, man. Just come on. Stop coming to Riverwood. Okay, I know how this works now. Basically, how this works is uh, we can make our own lumber. We can make our own sawn logs. It just doesn't tell you. It's very cryptic for some reason. So we can come over to uh, this log pile in Riverwood. And like I said, I believe this was here in the vanilla game, but I could be wrong. Now, if we uh, just interact with this, we'll take a hook and we'll put a log onto this little um, trough or whatever you want to call it. If we interact with the lever, it's going to saw it. And once that's done, it's going to add 10 sawn logs to our inventory, but it doesn't show up. It's weightless. And it gets, like, automatically transferred to our homestead. So every time we do this, that adds 10. Now, the easier way to do this is to actually buy lumber. I kind of want to just kill this dragon since he's going to be such a nuisance. Um, so, yeah, we can buy lumber as well. And to do that, we need to go to Hod or Gerd. I own the lumber mill and pay a fair wage. See my husband, Hod, if you're looking. Yeah, Hod. There we go. Okay, so we want to find Hod, which should be in this house over here. And we have to be his friend for him to sell us some lumber. Um, so, where are you at, buddy? No! Oops. Well, <laughs> sometimes that's just what's required. Uh, Hod's dead, isn't he? I had, a, I had a bad feeling about this. I think Hod is dead. And he might be the dude in the cabbage patch. Get next. Bring me all the wood you can chop. Oh! Oh! There you are. Business here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse villages. Okay, so a good way to make them your friend, by the way, is to chop some firewood. Uh, firewood. Luckily, we already did that. I have some firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. Okay, good. And now, I'd like to buy some lumber. Doing some building, eh? We can deliver it wherever you need. Oh, and it was a miscellaneous uh, objective, too. Cool. So we can ask, can I just cut the lumber myself? And we can. Like I said, every time you do that, that adds 10, uh, which is not a lot. So we can also purchase 20 logs for 200 gold. I'll take 20 logs. I'll have them hauled over right I'll away. We're doing happened? some building. Okay, so we're going to build, we uh, we're going to buy about 100, I think. So that's 20. That's 40. Right doing some building, eh? That's I'll 60. Hauled over right away. Doing some building, eh? 80. Right and? Doing some building, yes, I'm... Eh? Yes. I, I think we've established, right Hod, away. that I'm doing some building. Yes. Very Good perceptive day. of you. Is this dragon still causing ruckus? I think he's just sort of flying around. I really want that dragon to leave. But that's okay. We don't have to deal with it just yet. Uh, outside of this, we need um, some corundum. And I happen to know we also need some steel and other various ingots. So I think our last stop before I sort of just grind out whatever else we need is going to be to go to War Maidens. It's 9.53 p.m. So let's wait 12 hours, which would be 10, 11, 12. You guys know how buggy War Maidens seems to be. It's like you come here at 
in stark daytime and it'll just be closed for some reason but you can still buy stuff from the lady outside i always forget her imperial sounding name um it, it's just super duper weird and look at that she's not even here but if we give her a second to spawn oh man war maidens is so annoying like yeah it, it, it it's 12 a.m all right it's 12 it's, yeah, it's about to be 12 p.m on thursday okay and we wait one more hour That's and there she is Hmm. Blades, helmets. Okay, let's buy some. Okay, what's our weight at? We need to check that first. We're at 308 out of 335, so we can afford some some weight here. Weapons and armor. All right, let's get some corundum. We'll buy all 14. Um, dwarven metal. I, I'm not sure, but we'll buy a couple just in case. Let's buy like two. Ebony. We'll buy two. Iron. We've got more than enough iron. Uh, or a calcum. Let's buy that. Let's buy a couple of quicksilvers. And a couple of refined malachite. How are we doing on funds? We've still got about 100,000 gold. Let's buy a couple. Um, and mainly we want some steel. Yeah, so let's buy five of those. Okay. The, the only thing that we didn't get was moonstone. We are above our carry weight, but only by two. So let's drop about ten more clay, because we can always get more. Boom. All right. Very cool. Now, let's head back and put all of this to work. It feels really good to make this house as well if you're someone like me. Just a completionist that you can get everything done. I, who would settle for just the tiny little co uh, cottage, right? I, I don't think anybody would. So it feels really good to come back over here and just get everything done. Uh, it, 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 that completionist nature just feels so satisfied. So let's go to building materials. Um, it doesn't tell us how many of these we have in our inventory, does it? Uh, what do we need? I know we need some iron fittings. We'll build a couple of those, a couple of locks, a couple of hinges, and some nails. And whenever you build that hinge, it builds too. I don't know if I pointed that out. Okay, we have a lot of ingredients, building materials now. Let's check what we can build. Uh, like I said, we'll go for the house first, and then we'll go to the miscellaneous, so main hall door. Done. Foundation. Done. Main hall floor. This is using six quarried stone. We've got 22. Uh, main hall wall framing. Done. Okay, now we need walls and supports, which needs a whole bunch of nails. 10 nails and 16 nails. So we need to build three sets of nails. Okay. One, two, three. That should let us complete the main hall, I believe. Boom. And second floor supports. Boom. You can also build the framing. And we need two more sets of nails. So, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, if I did not prepare, this episode would have been the most boring episode of all time. Also, our smithing has increased 38. Nice little byproduct. All right. Main hall, second level walls, boom. And now for the roof, we need more nails. I don't know, I don't wanna just build a whole bunch of stuff in anticipation. But I will build a bunch of extra nails because it looks like, yeah, we're gonna need a ton of nails. How the hell are you gonna spread 10 nails across like a whole floor? Don't ask me, I don't know. It just makes sense. Boom. Okay, for the cellar, we need 50 quarried stone, which means we need to do some mining here. Now, this is what our house is looking like so far. Uh, I think before we really take a look at it, we're going to just finish off... Wow, actually, before we build the wings, because there's wings as well, we may be super close to being done. So I'm going to mine some stone, and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have just enough quarried stone. We still have 53 sawn logs, and we'll have 10 more quarried stone left over. And now we have a cellar. Boom. Okay, so now we only have miscellaneous stuff available to us. But if we check the drafting table... Oh my, my, my. Okay, this is where the good stuff comes in. This is where the interesting stuff happens. So, we can add an east wing, a north wing, and a west wing. We can remove workbenches from the houses. So yeah, there's there's two stages to building a house. Uh, I really do like how um, meticulous they made Hearthfire. I'm sure people would like it if he, uh, if it was even more 
um, detail oriented. But yeah, you can do the outside. You can add uh, the basically the cottage, then the main hall. Then you can add an east wing, a west wing, and a north wing. Um, and then you can go inside and use workbenches inside to decorate the interior of the house. So it takes quite a while. It takes quite a while. But let's take a look. Um, remodel house into an entryway, and then you can start back at the beginning if you would like to. So let's take a look at our options here. We have an armory for the... Okay, so we have three options for the east wing. An armory, a kitchen, and a library. You can see what it would look like. Uh, the armory just looks like a, a smaller house. The kitchen sort of just fills out the house a bit more. And then the library looks like a tower. What would Adronach want? I guess an armory doesn't make much sense, does it? I mean, I built an armory the last time because I was playing a classic Nord character. I feel like the library, right? To store all of his magical tomes? <laughs> okay. So I think we'll go with the library, but let's take a look at our other options as well. For the North Wing, we have an alchemy laboratory. That's also a tower. Mages do like their towers, don't they? Now uh, we have a storage room. Super boring. I think I went with the storage. Or did I go with the trophy the last time? I don't remember. A uh, storage room and trophy room. Also boring. I would like a trophy room because I do like setting all of my unique items everywhere. But we'll have ample space to do that, I think. At least the coolest ones. Uh, we're obviously not going to be able to put every single unique item in here anyways. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think we'll go with the library. The alchemy laboratory. Even though, honestly, we're not going to use the alchemy laboratory that much. But, yeah. And then for the West Wing, we have bedrooms. That is if you're going to adopt. I don't think we'll adopt. I don't think so. Adronach is not the father type. He's just not. We have an Enchanter's Tower and we have a greenhouse. Obviously, the Enchanter's Tower. So, uh, let's start with... I think the nor uh, it doesn't really matter, I think, but we'll go with the West Wing, the Enchanter's Tower, because that sounds the coolest to me. So, let's create that. Oh, cool, we can already put these... Oh, because they don't require anything. Wonderful. Uh, because these are just the plans, obviously. Yeah, so let's go for the library, and let's go for the Alchemy Tower. So we're missing out on the armory, the kitchen... Wait... Yes, I was going to say. Okay, we, there's no way that we can have all of them. Yeah, so we're missing out on the armory, the kitchen, the alchemy. Wait, what? What's happening here? Can we only have, like, one tower? If that's the case... I guess we can only work on one at a time. That's what's happening here. Okay. Okay. So yeah, if that's the case, we'll work on the alchemy, or the uh, enchanting tower first. So if we go around to the side, we should be able to see some plans here. Yep, a little tower over there. Alright, now let's go to the carpenter's, carpenter's workbench and see if we can't work on that tower. Enchanter's tower doors, we need three, we need two more iron fittings, two more locks, and one more hinge. Okay, so two iron fittings, two locks one hinge one hinge two iron fittings and two locks oh and this uses corundum interesting we got to pay attention to that okay now we can make the enchanter's towers enchanter's tower doors and the foundation and the main supports and the first floor walls and the second floor supports and the second floor walls and now we're done here. We can make the floor. Okay, we need basically just two quarried stone for the floor. And then more quarried stone for the roof. And we still got ample sawn logs. So, I'm going to mine some more quarried stone. And I will see you guys in a second. Alrighty, I think that's good. Yeah, this is quite an undertaking. By the way, if I look dead in my eyes... Because I woke up extra early today. I've got these magpies outside that are literally waking me up. There's got, like, my, the community where I live, someone has to have reported something already because these things are incredibly annoying. And it's the first time I've heard these things since I've lived here. So I woke up, like, a couple of hours early, and I'm recording this early in the morning. So that is why I look kind of like a zombie. Anyways, back to the carpenter's workbench. We have the enchanter's tower floor and the roof and the roof canopy and we are done that should be everything 
now of course this is just the outside so if we head over here we can see our enchanters tower in all of its glory this is gonna be such a cool house design um the last time i did like the the practical stuff like the storage facility and, and whatever this is gonna be cool though this is gonna be a house fit for adronach i'm really excited because i kind of forgot that you could get a tower on each side uh, we'll wait to check out uh the inside because it's just gonna be a bear um a bear tower basically okay so let's move on uh the library or the alchemy laboratory let's go for the library next and good okay so i think we're gonna need more sawn logs eventually but let's take a look we need doors so we need three locks three iron fittings and six hinges which means we need double of all of that um so one two three one two one two one two one two one two three okay now we have enough for the doors for all three wings uh let's go back to this house library doors foundation floor main supports oh that feeling when you just tap that a button until it stops you okay so now we need we are going to run out of sawn logs here for sure um, but we need some clay and some nails. Two nails, in fact. So, let's get two sets of nails. I lied. And then right over here should be the clay that we need. Hopefully the deposit doesn't leave. It might leave. I'm not exactly sure. So far, oh, you can see the sawn logs there, by the way. Yeah, the logs just show up. It's a weird way that they've done it. Um, and honestly, I would not have mind if outside of the uh ingots and stuff which already weighed something in the vanilla game obviously they just made everything not weigh anything and i don't think that's the case like that i could actually be wrong though yeah no clay weighs the same as the ingots i would have been totally cool i would have been totally fine with the immersion breaking if they just made everything not weigh anything that would have been wonderful but we have the supports the walls and now we are completely out of sawn logs so i think i'll go ahead and go to riverwood and buy Probably a hundred more sawn logs. We might not need that much, um, but that's only about a thousand gold, I think. So I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, so I decided to kill this pain in the ass. Gosh, he was here every single time. He never left. And now you will die thanks to the power of the knight. See you later, alligator. Ugh. This guy was the most annoying dragon I think I've ever dealt with, ever. And it doesn't even matter because, like, even though we killed him, he's just going to come back. Uh, another dragon's going to come back the next time that we travel to uh, to Riverwood. But, oh well. It's the name of the game. It's Skyrim. Well, the name of the game's not dragons attacking constantly and being super annoying, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's take about... 228 we can really only afford to take about a hundred if that um, but we'll start using these resources rapidly so let's take a hundred and ten iron ingots boom I have what really oh man okay uh, da, 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 da. iron ingot let's drop no Let's just drop some... What do we have that we can drop? Gosh darn it. Uh, let's just drop some clay. I guess we can get some others. There we go. Okay. That was a delayed sound, if I've ever heard one. Alright, so I bought 10 sets of 20 sawn logs, which means we have 200 sawn logs. Uh, let's head back to Lakeview Manor. We should have a lot for everything. Although the corundum, I keep forgetting that the corundum is needed to build the fittings and stuff like that. But we should be able to build at least a decent amount of stuff here. Okay, so let's head back to the carpenter's workbench and library first floor walls, the roof, the canopy, and that's done. Okay, so there is our library. And we better be able to get to the balcony there. I've never built a uh, tower on any house. Because I've never used... Yeah, I've never I've never needed uh, any of the alchemy, the enchanting, or the library. Um, okay, so let's go back to the drafting table. We have one more wing to build. And that is going to be... 
the alchemy laboratory. Boom. Now, hopefully we have everything here. We'll probably need to get some more quarry and or some more clay. But, okay, we need two iron fittings and two locks. Two iron fittings and two locks. We are very low on corundum, but it looks like corundum is only being used for that stuff. So maybe we won't need more? We will probably need more. Foundation, floor, main supports, second floor. Okay, we need just a whole mess of clay. Should not be too difficult. Obviously, we have a reserve right over here. So let's mine some stuff. So yeah, af after we get the outside done, we have all of the extras to make on the outside of the house as well. And then we have all of the inside. Now, I'm trying to remember all of the building materials needed for the inside stuff. It's mainly the glass and the goat horns, but outside of that... I guess a, lo a whole bunch of iron, because I know you need around 300 iron ingots to do everything, which I do have. The iron we're good on, but the other stuff we're probably going to have to buy. Now, I know you can buy stuff eventually from somebody. I'm just not sure how they appear or where you can get it from. Oh, you know what? If we wait... Uh, okay, if we read this, does it tell us... Hiring a steward. Once your estate is well established, you may wish to consider hiring a steward to help manage your affairs. A good steward can be invaluable from hiring a carriage driver to buying a cow to keep you supplied with building materials. Yeah, before hiring a steward, it's advisable to bring a potential candidate to your manor and observe whether they are a good fit for your requirements. Ooh, that may just be like a house, Carl. Okay, we'll try that out. We'll try to go recruit Lydia. Uh, we'll see. But in the meantime... Let's go back into our house. We got the alchemy laboratory, first floor walls, the second floor walls, and for the roof, we need just one little bit of quarried stone. So we'll do this until it says we've got four in the top left corner. How are we doing on time? We still have some time here. Okay, I think we'll absolutely be able to get the outside done, because I think this is it. Maybe. We've got the roof, roof canopy. And that's it. We've got an achievement architect, which I think is just getting the main cottage, the main hall, and all three wings. Now, if we go back to the drafting table. Okay. So, we can remove the workbench in the alchemy laboratory, the cellar, the enchanter's tower, the house, the library, the main hall. And we can remodel the house just into the base part. So, we're done with the outside. We've got it. And so, now we can take a look at... Well, you know what? Let's build everything else that we can. All the little extras here. Uh, we have the armor workbench easy we have the garden and we have the stable now for the grindstone we need iron fittings and quarried stone and for the smelter we need iron fittings and quarried stone all of which we can get right here i didn't see exactly how much we needed but we'll just make one two three four and then for the quarried stone i think we just needed about eight so let's head right back over here we just need to do this two times so that's four and let's do three times just to make sure. And will that that will be everything on the outside, I think. Okay, there's another four. And one more time we'll do the trick. And then we'll try to get a steward because the steward will be magnificent in helping us get um, all of the little things that we need to build the inside up. Okay, good. Now if we head back to the workbench. Miscellaneous, grindstone, and a smelter. Okay, so drafting table everything is just remove stuff so we are done with the drafting table chest there's nothing in it we can just store supplies there which i probably should have stored all of my excess supplies but oh well and for the carpenter's workbench we've got nothing that is it the anvil works like a normal anvil so let's take a look at our homestead thus far we've got the stable here which doesn't seem to do anything but maybe we can store horses there we only use shadow mirror obviously this is what our house looks like from the outside it's got the three towers in it. Pretty sick. Uh, we've got the little animal area there. I forget what it's called. Uh, we have the tanning rack. Can't actually enter the house from any uh, any section over here. Um, I think with the like the armory and the storage stuff, you could enter, but I, I could be wrong. Okay, so here we have the apiary. Where is our smelting stuff? I'm not sure what this part is called. Oh, there it is. And we have the grindstone, the workbench. 
Yeah, not sure what this is. Oh, it's a garden. Yeah, that's the garden. Very cool. And here's the smelter. And that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We got everything on the outside. So, I think the next order of business, we can obviously go inside and check that out as well. But, let's head to Dragon's Reach and try to recruit Lydia. I'm trying to remember if this is how it goes. It must be, right? Because it said you have to bring someone to your uh, your place. We can't interact with the steward in Falkreath, so that's not going to happen. So it would have to be either a companion or someone like Aventus, Proventius, whatever the guy in Dragon's Reach is called. I'm forgetting the Imperial. Forget all the Imperial names. Now, where was Lydia? Where did I leave her? There's Balgriff. Let's wait seven hours. Where could Lydia be? And if not Lydia, where could I get another follower? Oh, in Solitude, the house that we have there. Yes. Okay, so first of all, where's that Imperial dude? Oh, there's Lydia. What do you need, my Fane? Follow me. I need your help. Looks like you've already got someone with you. No, I do not! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who is with me? You tried mercenary? Oh, work? someone said my the team. um Wow, that person might be right now. Yeah, okay, so I assumed when we tried to do the Cure Our Lycanthropy quest and uh, Vilcus and Farkas, um, I assumed that it was still a bug, but someone mentioned that we might still have, technically, the Reeklings as our followers. And I will say, I think off-camera, when I was grinding something, I fast-traveled somewhere, and three of them appeared uh, in, like, vanilla Skyrim, I think. So that could be the case. So I'll have to figure that out. I'll most likely figure that out off camera, but I think that's what you need to do. You basically just need to get a follower. They come to your house, they become your steward, and then you can have them um, purchase materials and stuff. So for the remainder of this episode, let's just check the inside and build whatever we can. I don't think we'll have too many materials to be able to do so, but we shall see. So let's first of all, take a look at our new place. Uh, this is obviously just serves as the foyer, which is funny because we're probably part of the rich and famous of Skyrim now because this is as big as most people's house. But our house continues into the main hall here. Uh, we have the cellar. Let's take a look at that. Everything's completely barren, obviously. But you can put some stuff in the cellar. Was there something? Oh, if you have children, that's right. Okay, um, so, this door leads to the, sh what should be the enchanting area, but we can't seem to climb anything? Do we have to actually build a ladder? Looks like it. Is that the case for all of the towers? We go over here? Yeah! Okay, there better be a way to build, oh wait, the stairs lead up. Okay, so that's the base floor, and then if we head upstairs, we have another section of the main hall of course and we can go back into the towers and they do have ladders that lead outside to Skyrim I would imagine they all are completely identical looks like that's the case yes so let's head to the enchanters tower I believe that's what this one is no this is the library I don't know okay so we can yeah come out and, and take a look and obviously this is perfect I should have done this I should have built a library in my last house I don't know why I didn't because obviously we get a a, a great view uh, to the lake. Wonderful. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. What are you doing here, sir? Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Thank you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yeah, that'd probably, uh, probably be best. <laughs> that was super odd. All right, who died? Letter of inheritance. Adronach, in the name of Jarl Balgriff the Greater, it is with great regret that we inform you of Feindal's death. That's okay. 200 gold? That's surprising that he had that much. Uh, Feindal, huh? Guess he died to the ancient dragon. Okay, so yeah, this is our house. We've got three towers. I like it. Um, let's head back down here and just try to interact with some of these building, these crafting tables to see what we can do. Get the hell out of my house, it. sir! I don't want to kill you because you're probably integral in giving me met Sir, I'm asking you kindly to leave. Now I now I get nope. it. Sorry. Get nothing. Get out of here. Now I get it. 
Now I totally get it when, when people are asking me to leave and I won't leave. I, I, <laughs> I get it now. I feel so sorry for all of them. Okay, um, should we start with the beginning or should we start with the towers? I guess the beginning. We'll work from the front to the back. So, we have a workbench here. Now, let's see what we can make. Nope, sorry, nothing. Okay, so this mainly uses logs and uh, nails and iron ingots. We can make just a bunch of random stuff. Um, I believe you can only do these once. It's not like you can just make a billion barrels. As for furniture, we're missing some leather strips. I have a ton of leather as well. Shelves, exterior, there. The wall sconces. I don't know what you would, yeah, what what you would call those. Um, sconces. I'm just gonna call them sconces. We're gonna go ahead and build those, and you can see it takes that out. We are done building the sconces for this particular room. Uh, let's go with containers, containers, because I think we can build most of this. Uh, barrels. We'll just build everything that we can. Square table and chairs. My nose is super itchy. Oh. Whew. Okay. Boom and nothing there and a fire pit so what materials do we need we need nails and iron fittings nails and leather strips nails nails and hinge and nails uh iron fittings and iron fittings it'd be really great if there was an anvil in here oh my god my nose is itching so much right now it's because it knows i'm on camera that's why i could play it off i could play it off um if i wasn't but, but just the, the presence out there just knows. It's like, ah, 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 me, the universe. I'm going to make Austin's nose itch like crazy. Woo. Okay, uh, let's build a shitload of nails. Um, we'll build... We'll just build a bunch of this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five... That should be good. Now, that will let us build most of the, what I'm calling the foyer, which is just really funny because, like I said, <laughs> it's like as big as a lot of people's in Skyrim's houses. That's not grammatically correct, but you get what I mean. Okay, dresser. Need leather strips for that, I remember. Uh, shelves. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So, all we need is four leather strips, and we can completely finish this. So, before we look at that... Let's do this. Let's end the episode with getting some leather strips. Now, I do have a tanning rack there, but I don't have any leather. So, I think we will need to travel to Riverwood. No dragons, 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 no dragons. Please, no dragons. Please, no dragons. No dragons. No dragons. Woo! All right. Is there anything else that we need to buy from Riverwood before we leave? I don't think think so we have pretty much everything that we can we can do everything that we can use to make at the moment so all we need is some leather straps no one come in here it's my secret place don't you come into my secret place it's secret for a reason okay in the chest i have a bunch of iron ingots and some leather straps which are all ooh, sweet we can take all of them um, we're gonna leave the iron ingots. We'll probably have to come back eventually, but obviously we just wanted the leather straps. Oh, I think we also need leather at some point, um, without reducing it to leather straps, which you can get at, uh, War Maidens in Whiterun as well. That's the main source that I go to anyways for leather and leather straps and iron ingots and iron ore you can smelt the iron ore into iron ingots and you can tan the leather into leather straps so that's a good place to get all that stuff okay inside once more we go and we will get our foyer done and i'm surprised we got more done than i thought we were going to be able to so boom and now that is everything so let's take a look at our foyer. We've got a bed in here for some reason. I have thought that once you build everything, like in the main hall and in the foyer and whatever, it does look a little crammed. It looks like they just decided to cram everything in here, like the developers. I don't think a bed was necessary. I don't think as much stuff was necessary. But obviously we've got a bunch of different amenities in here, a bed, some shelves, a fire pit, a chest, lots and lots and lots of things. So that is it. That is it for our, our foyer. Now, obviously, we can fully furnish uh, all three wings and also the main hall, which is going to take a bunch, but it looks really nice. It ever, Once everything's furnished, it looks great. Uh, and then the last thing that we can do is adopt children. 
Do we need a bedroom? We might need a bedroom to adopt children, but Adronach would not adopt children. We'll see, though, but I, I don't know if I consider that a part of 100% or not. Is there any way to get rid of children once you adopt them? I don't know. I'll think on that. And then, obviously, we need to get a steward um, because the steward will hire a carriage that will take us anywhere, and we'll get some other amenities. So, one last thing before we give the outro here. Let's go to the drafting table. Miscellaneous. And... House, remove workbench. Boom. And now the workbench in there is gone. And our foyer is complete. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is our house. I don't have a name for it yet. I'm going to think of a name uh, in a future episode and come up with something applicable. Unless I can think of one on the spot right now. Adronox's catchphrase is burn. He likes fire. He likes destruction magic. Obviously, he's... Got a lot of prowess in all areas of magic. No, I don't want to rush it. I'm very particular about my name, so I'll think about it. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. Episode 200 of Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. I already said everything at the start. I'm not going to repeat myself. It's been a wild ride. I've had a lot of fun with this series. We're going to continue on. Like I said, I don't think we'll get up to 250. Definitely not 300. There's no way. Um, but I already know how it's going to end. I have a very clear ending in mind, and I'm excited to show you guys what I have uh, to show. And uh, we also have, of course, all the side quests to complete and everything else. Thank you guys so much for being with me up until this point. Uh, I will continue this. I, a lot of people are like, I can't believe you continue this up until this point. Like, I told you guys at the start, we're going to be doing everything. I promise. I, I, don't, I don't quit. I don't quit on a lot of things, on most things. So, thank you guys for enjoying this series thus far. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for doing everything to support me. And I will see you guys in episode 201. Bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.